Hi everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will learn Copilot for Excel. Here we will know what exactly is Microsoft Copilot and then how to install Copilot for Excel. And for better understanding, run a live demonstration of how to use Excel Copilot through a simple context. Imagine it's one of those late afternoons you receive an urgent request from your manager to analyze the quarterly sales data. The data set is huge, filled with inconsistencies and deadline is tight. With only a few hours to spare, you turn to Copilot for finance, hoping it can streamline the process. You load the raw data and Copilot instantly flags outliners, suggests corrections for missing entries and generates precise financial metrics. Within few minutes, you have clear data analysis of sales performance, pinpointing the most profitable regions and identifying areas for improvement. You send the report to your manager who is astounded by the speed and accuracy of the insights. You've delivered exactly what was needed just in time for the board meeting. Sounds too good to be true, right? That was the thing of the past. With the help of the new Microsoft Copilot for Finance, you can perform all the data analytics with Microsoft Excel in mere minutes. Today, we will learn how to install Microsoft Copilot for Excel and also known as Copilot Finance and also learn how to use it in Excel. We will be referring to Microsoft official documentation on Copilot for Excel. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master generative AI and artificial intelligence skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various generative AI courses and certifications. Simply Learn offers various certification programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Purdue, IIT, Guwahati and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced Python, machine learning, generative AI and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier data and product companies and also academicans from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into an AI and machine learning role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a generative AI program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started. So what is Microsoft 365 Copilot for Excel? So basically let's get started with Copilot. The Microsoft Copilot is a generative artificial intelligence chatbot developed by Microsoft based on the GPT-4 series of large language models. It was launched in the year 2023 as Microsoft's primary replacement for the discontinued Cortana. Now, let's get started with the installation process of Copilot for Excel. So when you're talking about Copilot for Excel, then Microsoft has a dedicated version of Copilot for Excel. It is also known as the Copilot for Finance. Now, let's navigate to the official documentation of Microsoft. So this is the Microsoft 365 Copilot for Finance and it is the next generation AI assistant for financial professionals. So if you are working on financial data or any data in Excel, then this is the go-to tool of Copilot for you. Now, how to install it, you ask? It is really simple. Now just go to the Microsoft Excel web page or the spreadsheet and here you have an option called add-ins in the home section. You can also find that in the insert section as well. Just click on the add-ins. And here I've already added the Microsoft 365 for finance. But in case if you don't, then just type in Copilot. And you will be redirected to the ads store. Just type in Microsoft Copilot finance. This is the one. Just click on the add button and you will add this to your Excel already added so it can be giving me some okay you can just continue and there you go you have the microsoft 365 copilot for your excel data now we don't have any data here but let's also have a demo session on how to use microsoft 365 copilot for finance so once the copilot is installed the next part of this session is how to use the copilot so to use copilot we first need the data now i have created a prompt for generating some data. So I'll run you through the prompt quickly. 
So I just wrote a random prompt. Okay. So this is my prompt. So I'm giving uh, ChatGPT some data and I'm expecting 10,000 rows of uh, details. And these are the column headers, row ID, order ID, ship mode, etc., customer name. And we have traffic, leads, orders, quantity, price, discount, cost to company, and profit, which is price minus cost to company and rate of the product. So you will also be giving some inputs to your chat GPT. So you can consider all Indian states for this particular data set and regions east, west, north, south, and some companies here, company names. This is artificially generated. So let's try to generate it artificially, but let's make it look a little realistic, right? So some categories, some subcategories, product names, right? And after that, we will also add another important point for sales, quantity, discount, profit rate, etc. Create this data set with realistic and accurate values. For state and country or city columns, ensure the selected cities belong to the right state. Right? Some uh, information and details that you need to give to your chat GPT before uh, creating the data set so that it looks a little realistic, right? Even though it is generated artificially. Let's make it look a little realistic. Now let's switch to the chat GPT window and copy our prompt and paste it there so that our data set is ready. So now we are on chat GPT. So quickly paste the prompt here. Check the prompt properly. And once you're satisfied that all the uh, spelling issues, issues or everything is fine, check the column headers, right? You, you, you might want to check, cross check your column headers so that while running some uh, data analytics, you might be want to make sure your column headers are perfectly named right now just quickly uh, uh, run this prompt but before that you might want to add another command right give me a downloadable link or file and then quickly run this prompt shortly your data set will be ready there you go so the data set customer data ind with 10,000 rows has been created. You can download it using the link below. So if you click the link here, the data set will be automatically downloaded. So there you go. The file is getting downloaded. I shall cancel it because I already have this data set. If we go back to Excel and here, if we open this data set here, we have the same data set. Now, there are some best practices to be followed while you're working with the Microsoft Copilot. So the term best practices doesn't mean rocket science. All you have to do is make sure that your data set is in table format, not in CSV, not in workbook, just a simple table format. You can just convert the data set into a table format just by control or control A or selecting all these cells in your data set range and pressing the shortcut control T, which will give you a table option and select this particular check here table has headers so that your excel will identify that it has some column headers now your data is all fine go to the home tab and you can start up or fire up your copilot for excel and there you go you can just choose the first option next should be table one and there you go so your microsoft excel copilot have already generated some pivot tables and statements which will help you with all the details you're looking for that's how you download and install Microsoft Excel Copilot for Finance in your Excel. And that's how you use it. So in this tutorial, we have also covered how to generate data using generative AI and how to convert the data set into a tabular format so that your Microsoft Excel Copilot can understand it is the table that you want to run your analytics with. And that calls for an end on this session on how to install Microsoft Copilot in your Windows for your Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.